Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 12th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had those bulls seemingly very confident that the CPI data this morning is going to be good. And we pushed up toward resistance levels in the chart, even breaking some resistance levels in one of the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate you being here this morning and um, watching the video. I uh, it means a lot to me, so thank you so much. Now, um, looking at the charts here, let's take a look at what we've got going here. Uh, diamonds pushed up nicely, broke through that resistance here yesterday like it wasn't even there, pushing right up into here to this major resistance that we haven't been able to breach and hold since um, August of last year. Will today be today, the day that that occurs? And it's certainly possible that that could be the circumstance as um, we see here in the market that we're, we're seemingly very, very confident that the CPI data has um, substantially pulled back. Uh, we're going to find out here pretty soon whether that's true. So one of the things we have to note for today is anything is possible if the cpi data is good then we start pushing on higher here in the markets and maybe we finally turn that corner and really start to show some confidence in the market however if the number isn't good and let's keep in mind that we have had a market speculating on inflation um, for some time and they've been wrong many times um, already trying to say the Fed's going to stop raising, the Fed's going to do this, that the inflation is going down, and then they've disappointed. So um, this speculation pushing into here could be just that, just another round of speculation that the numbers are better. But perhaps they are right. And if they are right, let's look for this resistance level to break in the chart. So if those bulls are inspired, let's look for that resistance right there to break to the upside and if they can continue to push through well, then we're going to look for these some of these levels where we've stretched out up here before to see whether or not we can breach through those levels and the big question is once we pop through remember we've popped through here before we've been unable to hold so the real uh, key to this is going to be if we push on through that level will we then have the energy to hold and then we can start looking for that bullish upside in there. We don't want another whipsaw up here in the area. That would be um, counterproductive to what the bulls want to see happen. Now, one of the things you also have to say here that's very, very bullish is that we held the 50-day moving average here once again. We kind of double bottomed on that 50-day moving average. So the question is, will that big resistance break or will it continue to uh, proved to be pretty persistent in keeping the market down. So watch that closely. Now, as we look at the SPY and the QQQ, they are also very, very bullish. This is a nice little bullish pattern in here showing the bulls stepping up. We haven't been able to break through that resistance just yet, but they're certainly trying to show that we have no worry about inflation at all and no worry about the coming earnings um, around the corner. Now, one thing that we have seen here in the SPY and the QQQ is an overbought condition, very, very stretched away from their 50-day moving average. And that still remains the case heading into these data points. So you could imagine if, if the bulls are wrong here and that number were to disappoint, um, how quickly this could reverse and uh, it could be a painful reversal if they're wrong. If they're right, however, I'm gonna look for a break of that resistance and we're testing it here in the pre-market. Like I said, just seemingly very, very confident that the number is good. So watch that carefully. If we can break through there, then we start looking for the next levels above. Up here around, uh, well, I would say probably right around 4,500 in the um, S&P 500. So watch that closely. If the bears find inspiration, well, 
um, there's your support. That'll be a painful pullback if that were to occur. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Also, QQQ has been very, very extended. And although we've rested here in the chart, we're still a long ways away from our 50-day moving average. Still showing tremendous confidence here in the market. Watch that closely as we press to this resistance level in the chart. Um, that'll be our, uh, if the bulls can, uh, or if the number's good and the bulls can break through that area, that'll show some nice confidence here. And then we'll start looking for the next levels higher here in that chart um, up there around uh, maybe the 378, 380 range in the QQQ. Once again, if the bears find inspiration, pull back into this support might be a little bit on the painful side. And if that fails, well then, we're back down in here uh, looking for support. If we look at our IWM, IWM had a great day yesterday, breaking through this resistance. Now, I want you to notice that we've done this multiple times. The question is going to be, if we break through that resistance, can we hold it as support? So that's gonna be the question for today. If the, the number is bullish and we can push on through, wonderful, but then we need to see that proof that we're gonna hold up here before I turn this line green. So watch that carefully here in the chart. Again, if the bulls find inspiration, let's look for this area right up here to potentially break. And if that breaks, we start moving on higher. And this would really change the dynamics of the market if we were to hold up here. Now, if the bears find inspiration, just kind of keep in mind that the speculation heading into this number has created a pretty big downside opportunity here in um, IWM if that number were to happen to disappoint. Certainly not suggesting that it will. I have absolutely no idea what that number is going to be. And I'm not trying to uh, assume anything um, heading into it. Um, I think anything is possible. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday, although we were showing tremendous confidence in the price action of the market, we really didn't see much happen there in the VIX. Um, the VIX just resting in here on a uh, support level. There is that uncertainty. And I think that uncertainty kind of showed itself in the declining volume that we've seen the last two or three days um, as we head toward that number. So those volume numbers have been light. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now here's a problem that we're gonna have to deal with. As we headed into this number, we pushed our T2122 into the overbought region again. So you can imagine if this number disappoints, we have opened up a big opportunity for the downside. And it's also a possibility, even if the number comes in good, that we may not have much upside opportunity. It could be buy the uh, or uh, buy the rumor and then sell the news type of event that could be occurring here where we've pushed this up into this extreme level heading into such a big data point it's showing a massive amount of confidence or potentially a huge um, um, over speculation um, heading into that number so if the bulls find that number to be to be good then we have some upside potential but it may not be all that much because we've kind of stretched these indexes heading into that number already so watch that closely and we've opened up a big opportunity for a downside if that number disappoints we take a look at our t2107 same thing is occurring here we're stretching back up we're we're up here, beautiful move here, 55% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. Just kind of keep in mind that's starting to show that kind of frothy area of the market, that super confidence that everything is perfect here um, heading into this number and also heading into earnings. So watch that closely um, uh, in the chart. We still have upside opportunity here though, if that number comes in and you've got to admit, this is bullish. That's all there is to it. It is bullish. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, same thing is true. Bullish upside move. And once again, we're reaching these upper areas here where we're reaching that frothy overbought condition here with that speculation going into that number. Um, so kind of keep that in mind that as we stretch, this is very, very bullish. We're 70% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average, which means... 
we're reaching that point where everything is showing super, super confidence to the upside. And that might be the breaking point where everyone is in and then profit taking begins. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, yesterday we did finally get that turn to show in T2101, which kind of suggests that that momentum could shift here in the market. So be careful for that possibility if um, we don't get what we're hoping for out of that CPI number. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar is what we've been talking about um, with that CPI. And of course, I made the mistake and did not open me just a second here guys I did not open um, the calendar um, well I think I did but I closed it go so on that economic calendar today today if you look right in here we've got mortgage applications coming out here this morning we'll want to be paying attention to that last time we saw those numbers kind of disappoint here um, as rates continued to rise in the market we saw a major decline in those applications um, i don't know what the, the number today will be like but watch that closely um, and as a matter of fact it looks like that report is also already in let's take a quick peek at it um, came in at a negative uh, well it was negative 4.4 last time came in at 0.9 so a little uh, a nice improvement there purchase index came in at 1.8 from a negative 4.6 and then refinance index uh, continued to stay negative at a negative 1.3 but certainly better than um, previous so a little improvement there on that side of things now we've got that CPI number coming out this morning we've got some Fed speakers here today petroleum status we get that Atlanta Fed uh, business inflation expectations I I don't think that'll make any difference here and it might be interesting to watch that 10-year note auction uh, bond yields pulled back yesterday so it'll be interesting to watch that um, now as soon as we get through that we're going to be starting to focus pretty quickly right over here into uh, jobless claims which have been problematic for us uh, the PPI number um, on Thursday so kind of keep that in mind and then of course we're going to hit um, import export prices consumer sentiment on Friday but I don't know that too many people are going to worry or pay attention to that because everyone's going to be focused on the kickoff of earnings and those big bank reports that will be coming on Friday. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today and it's pretty light. I only put a couple of num um, tickers on the uh, calendar for today that are somewhat notable um, but I don't think there's going to be too many folks really paying attention to them. Um, ANGO will be reporting today. You can see it uh, looks like they've already got a little bit of a disappointment here. Um, uh, maybe a little pop and drop going on in the pre-market. And MLKN is the only other one I put on the list. A little bit of positiveness trying in there. Also popping and dropping just a little bit. Um, on their numbers today so watch those close let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could also do me that favor and that would be click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you to so much so much to everyone who does do that it means a tremendous amount to me and and um, helps that channel to continue to grow um, click those thumbs up buttons leave those comments and share these videos out on your social media feed that helps more folks find these videos and if you find these to be useful maybe other people will as well so thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that let's take a look at some of these stocks and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security um, you've got to do your own due diligence and be very very careful here in the market follow your risk tolerance follow your trading rules and never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas first off let's take a look um, I put an alert here on Kohl's yesterday and it popped through that alert uh, nice move it's interesting that we're seeing such a um, 
a big move here in retail heading into um, some of these earnings reports. Um, kind of a little bit odd, honestly, but that's where that speculation is coming in that everything is suddenly turning better. So watch that closely um, with that breakthrough um, up here. Any rest or pullback now, I think, sets up an opportunity um, in Kohl's. So keep an eye on that. Take a look at XLRE. A person um, in the Right Way Options room brought this up, and I like the chart. Placed an alert, and it just immediately popped right through yesterday with this rally that we had. Um, notice we still have a downtrend here in the chart, but we're starting to see um, this real estate um, um, ETF pick up here in um, in the buying. So watch that closely. It's looking pretty good. And speaking of ETFs, take a look at um, utilities. Utilities have been putting in kind of an interesting little bottoming pattern here. Notice ever so slightly rising highs in here. Um, so watch that as we uh, see if we can progress back up to the upside. Utilities may be coming around, which is odd. And, and the reason I say that's odd is if we're really, really confident in the market, we, we shouldn't be seeing um, some of these boring um, uh, dividend type paying um, sectors finding buying. But maybe there's a little bit of a hidden rotation into more safety plays heading into earnings. So watch carefully for that. Take a look at um, MDT. Placed an alert here on MDT. Um, I kind of like the way this chart is forming up here. And this is one of Medtronic is one of the kind of AI stocks out there in the uh, healthcare sector uh, doing some interesting things. So keep an eye on this. Um, a break of this downtrend pushing up through here and a hold out there toward trend I think sets up as a nice bullish opportunity. Boy, I got to tell you, we, we can't uh, ignore what hap is happening in the dollar. Dollar weakening pretty substantially. Another uh, failure up here at that resistance. This one being a little bit of a lower high. And now we've taken out this low with a pretty rapid decline here in the dollar. Now that is really supportive of commodity prices. Take a look at um, some of the oil sector stocks out there. As you guys know, I've been paying attention to OXY. OXY really popped hard yesterday. This is that Warren Buffett faved uh, uh, stock here in the oil sector really popped yesterday on that move. Um, I wouldn't want to chase it at this point. A little rest, a little consolidation, and there may be reason for that, as you can see right here in the chart. We've got quite a little bit of resistance. So maybe a little consolidation rest or pullback might be in order here, but watch that carefully for um, an upside move. And then if you look at some of the other stocks out there, boy, um, Schlumberger, um really ripping to the upside. Holy moly just taking off like a rocket ship in here. Now there was some news on this on a big contract win. So that does make some sense, but I would look for a little rest or pullback in there for the next opportunity. And that's having good impacts on stocks like Halliburton, not so much on Valero Energy yet. This is another refiner, but she's trying to pop up here, uh, breaking through some resistance. So again, break up through there, hold the higher low, and then we'd be looking for an upside opportunity in that chart so watch that close now let's take a look at some of the other things out there take a look at paypal as you guys know i've been talking about paypal that possibility coming up out of the bottom looking very good i have a little bit of a bias here on sq because i own it but it's looking really really good on this pop back up um, any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity there in sq so some of those pay systems out there Visa doing very well. MasterCard ripping to the upside. So a lot of things moving up here in um, those pay systems with quite a bit of confidence. And we're going to find out here soon if that confidence is warranted when we start hearing how Amazon Prime Days came out for Amazon, whether it was good, bad, or indifferent. We'll want to watch that closely and see if those pay system increases are justified. Um, watch that carefully. Also, take a look. Uh, FedEx, as you guys know, I was talking about this this week, alerting um, and just breaking on through to the upside, kind of taking off here like a rocket shot. Any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity in that chart. Take a look here. Um, we're seeing other retailers 
um, starting to pick up Costco um, possibly finding a little bit of price support in here watch that closely I saw um, like um, JWN making a move yesterday We've got some resistance there to worry about but we're seeing some of these retail um, stocks really perking up GPS you can see the cup that's being formed here on this chart a little cup and handle pattern and I would be looking for some upside opportunity in that. So quite a few of these stocks moving around, showing strength to the upside. Very, very nice patterns in the market starting to show up. And by the way, um, I, you know, you can see this yourself, but that's a pretty big head and shoulders pattern setting up there on GPS. If um, that may be getting ready to uh, take off to the upside. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. Remember, today could start some incredible volatility in the market between uh, today and the big bank earnings on Friday. It could be a wild end to the week. So make sure you're prepared for that volatility. If we happen to disappoint this morning on this number, Boy, be really careful. We could pull back quick and hard because we're overbought in our T2122. So be prepared and have a plan. Don't just be overly trading um, heading into numbers like this because, boy, anything is possible. We want to protect that capital as well as make money. So with that, everyone, wish you all of the best. Wish you great success in your trading, and we'll see you right back here bright and early. Thursday morning. Have a great one.